A multiple stage evaporator concentrates a weak sodium hydroxide solution from 3% to 18% and process 2 tons of solution per day. How much product is made per day? And how much water is evaporated per day? Okay, so ang una natin dapat na makita is ang given natin is having a unit ton while ang ating mga choices is in pounds. So, mas maganda kapag nag-perform na tayo nito is to convert yung ating units into pounds para makuha na kagad natin yung ating answer. Okay, so minsan magugulat kayo kasi naka-mention na dito multiple stage evaporator. So, maring isipin mo this is a multiple unit material balance. no? But, if you will read carefully yung ating given, wala naman siyang binigay na kahit anuman na nangyayari in between evaporators natin. No? So, kahit may ilan pa siyang evaporator, pero wala namang sinasabi what is the condition on each evaporator. So, that means we can just consider this, itong ating mga given, as an overall material balance. No? Yun lang ang nangyayari dito sa ating given. So, let us say this is our multiple unit evaporator. No? So, marami na tayong evaporator dito. Okay, so let us label this as evaporator. Okay, so this is our evaporator. And it concentrates weak sodium hydroxide solution from 3% to 18%. So, okay, so tumataas yung concentration ng ating sodium hydroxide. So, we have our feed in here in which it has 3% Sodium hydroxide. Diba? So we have 3% NaOH and we are concentrating that to 18%. So this is our product. Our product is having 18% NaOH solution. So we have 18% NaOH. So of course, since this is an evaporation process, so we have our water evaporated here. No? So, let's say this is W, which will stand for water. So, since this is evaporation, so we know that this is pure water. So, we have 100% water. So, pinakamadali i-label na natin. Gano karaming water meron tayo sa bawat stream? So, sa ating feed, we have 3% NaOH. So, therefore, we have 97% water. And sa ating product, we have 18% NaOH, so that means we have 82% water. Okay? So, tumaas yung concentration ng NaOH because of evaporation ng ating water. So, ang required natin dito is to find kung gaano karami yung product na napoproduce natin per day. So, required natin is how much is our product per day and how much water is evaporated per day. So, kailangan natin makuha yung P and W and the unit is in pounds. Okay, so the first thing that we should do is to conduct an overall material balance. Okay? So, let us do an overall material balance. So, we have only one stream entering which is the feed and two streams leaving which is W and P. So, we have W plus P. And we know that our feed, according dito sa ating given, no? hindi pala natin na isulat. So, we need to process 2 tons of solution per day. So, if we say we're going to process 2 tons of solution per day, that means it is our feed. So, yan ang ating ipaprocess. So, after the process, we have product P. Kaya nga pinahanap sa atin, how much product is made. So, gano'ng karami yung nagawa nating product. If we are going to process... 2 tons of solution per day. So, that means our F is equal to 2 tons. Okay? So, since our F is equal to 2 tons, so, we have here 2 is equal to W plus P. Okay? So, yan lang ang alam natin. We don't know W and we don't know P. But, kapag uh, nalaman natin yung isa sa kanila, immediately makukuha na natin yung ating answer na. Dahil meron tayong OMB. So, paano ang pinakamadaling balance na gagawin natin? 
So, tatlong stream is having water. May water dito, may water dito, and may water dito. But only two streams is having sodium hydroxide. So, F has 3% NaOH and P has 18% NaOH. So, wala sa W because this is pure water. So, ang pinakamadali is to do NaOH balance para dalawa lang yung streams na involved. No? So, let us do NaOH balance. Okay, so sa ating feed, how much NaOH we have? We have um, 3% NaOH. So, we have 0 0.03 NaOH in our feed. And this is equal to how much NaOH we have in P? 18%. So, 0 0.18 in our P. But we know that F is equal to 2, di ba? So, that means we have here 0 0.03 times 2 is equal to 0 0.18 in our P. So, our P is equal to 0 0.03 times 2 divided by 0 0.18. Okay, so, makukuha na natin yung value ng ating P. Okay, so, let's use our calculator. So, we have 0 0.03 times 2 is equal to 0 0.06 divided by 0 0.18. So, we have 0 0.333, no? 0 0.333 tons. Okay, so, katulad na sabi natin, ano, yung mga choices natin is in pounds. So, kahit pa makuha natin to in tons, we still need to convert that. Okay, so, our P is equal to 0 0.333 ton. And our conversion is that for every 1 ton, we have 2,000 pounds. So that means to convert this, this is 2,000 pounds for every 1 ton. Okay? So our unit tons will be cancelled out. So we just need to calculate this now. Our P is equal to okay, 0 0.333 times 2000 is equal to 666.67. 666.67 pounds. So, actually, dito pa lang, makikita mo na yung sagot, no? Because only choice C is having 666.67 pounds ng ating product. So, that will be our answer. No? Pero, tingnan na rin natin itong value ng ating W. So, we have our overall material balance. So, we have 2 is equal to W plus P. This is from our OMB. Okay, so, from OMB. Okay, so, we know the value of P, no? So, since this is in ton, so, let us calculate it by ton. So, W plus our P is 0 0.333 ton. 0 0.333 tons. So, this is in tons as well. So, W is equal to 2 minus 0 0.333. So, therefore, our W is equal to, so, 2 minus 0.333. This is 1.667. So, 1.667 tons. So, we're going to convert this into pounds. So, for every 1 ton, we have 2,000 pounds. Okay. So, let me correct this. Okay. So, our unit for ton will be cancelled out. So, my E1 is in pounds. No? So, our W is equal to so, 1.667 times 2,000. So, times 2,000 is equal to 3,334 or 3,333.4. So, 3,333.4 pounds. So, dito sa ating choices, 3,334. So, this is the closest. No? So, this is our answer in here no so this is the value of w and this is the value of p so our answer is letter c 
If you want more practice problems na magagamit mo para sa iyong pagre-review for the Chemical Engineering Board exam or to help you sa iyong subjects in Chemical Engineering course, you can join our Chemical Engineering Refresher course program dito sa YouTube. All you have to do is to click on join and then there are two options na pwede niyong gawin. By being a supporter, you are just supporting our platform para mapagpatuloy natin yung mga pagpo-post natin ng mga free lecture videos dito sa ating channel. Or you can support us by clicking on the CHE Refresher course. So in here, makikita ninyo, meron tayo mga exclusive videos para lamang sa mga members or supporters natin dito sa category na to sa ating channel. So dito natin ilalagay yung mga solve problems and practice problems natin in preparation for the Chemical Engineering Board exam. By choosing any of these two, matutulungan nyo yung ating channel to grow at makapag-post pa ng marami pang videos na magagamit ng mga chemical engineering students sa kanilang pag-aaral. So, thank you very much and have a nice day!